How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today I have some more individually packed erasers. Now it's been a little while, almost a month since I've uh, made an individually packed eraser video by iWacko. But I thought it'd be really nice to be able to kind of go back to a little bit more Japanese stuff. So let's go ahead and unpackage these individually and see what we got. Alright, so right here we have some traditional looking Japanese food dishes. So let's go ahead and grab the scissors and open this up. Let's go ahead and slide these out. So the first one we got here is kind of like a rice ball. It has some kind of what looks to be fish in the center, probably salmon. But uh, this is the outside right here. You can see they put in some details from the seaweed, which is really cool. One reason I really like these individually packed erasers is how much detail they're able to pack in on these tiny little things. I love interesting engineering. So you can see all that right there. And then even the individually created grains of rice. And these are actually puzzle erasers if you haven't seen my videos before. Most of the time these pieces actually come apart so most likely, yep, you can you see right there? You can actually take it apart and it's a two-piece on the inside so push it back together and it fits together like a little kind of uh, interlocking mechanism. Pretty cool stuff. All right, and right here it looks like we have some sort of curry dish with some uh, rice on the side. Really like the detail in the plate with the little tiny uh, marks. Really makes it look like it's uh, an actual plate. We also have the two pegs in the bottom, so if we push that up, we actually can remove the rice and or also remove the curry, which I'm not going to pop that out, but as you can see, it pops out and then you can just pop it back in. So what would be really cool about this is you can actually like take the curry or that and only use those two. And as you erase with these, you could kind of like look like you're finishing your plate very slowly. Interesting idea. And this one right here, wow, look at those noodle details. And look how small this thing is. This is comparing it to my finger. So this looks to be, um, I would assume, a thing of ramen noodles. And this little thing right here, which looks to be tempura shrimp. Fried tempura shrimp. Tempura. <laughs> uh, actually comes out. And I believe the noodles do too. That pops back in there. And I believe these are green beans. It looks like green beans. You can pop those back in there as well. The details on this thing are insane. Look at those noodles. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then the next ones we got right here are some Japanese style dolls. So let's go ahead and open this up. Zoom in on there. Let's go ahead and slide these guys out. Now I've seen these things lots of places, but I'm actually not too sure how they originated or what they're used for, but they're very cute. And if you know what these are uh, traditionally, please let me know in the comments below. So it looks like their heads come off. Well, the hair does. And then the face comes off into two different pieces, which I'm not going to take it off. But it also looks as though the eyes are separate too. So this black pig has another piece attached to it that's pushing forward. Actually, let me just show you. Let me just show you. So this is how that functions. This is actually the eyeballs right there, if you can see it. If you push it through, the eyes push through and then make their way right there. And then the hair makes up the face. Pretty cool. And the whole bottom right here is a racer as well. But let's take a minute to look at this really pretty kimono that she's wearing. Kind of 
has some flowers and like a greenish pink kind of gradient with a little bit of blue in there. Very nice. And since we uh, took the head off the other ones, we're not going to do that to this one. But this one is like a kind of like a pink. It has a nice red kimono with some beads. Looks like there's some fan print right there too. And this one has uh, brown hair. And then we have the last one right here. It's a uh, yellow kimono with kind of a orange and then uh, purple gradient with some really pretty flowers right here. All right, and that was the last one of those. And now we have a bit of uh, musical instruments. So let's go ahead and uh, see what these are all about. Move that to the side. Let's just push these out of here. All right. So the first one I want to look at is the piano because I like pianos. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So I notice it's a little bit beat up. So a racer material, as you know, just light scratches like that with my fingernail are enough to make it kind of like turn a little bit white. So it's not really the eraser's fault. Yeah, we have the piano keys right there. Look at the details in those. And then it looks as though you can actually remove the top of the piano. You see that right there? And you probably can remove the keys as well. Yeah, you can. See, I'm able to lift up the keys right there. And then it all snaps back together into a little tiny piano. Be really cute if I get a picture of my hamster with this, huh? Make it look like he's playing piano. Let's put that to the side. And right here, I believe this is one of those uh, ones you blow into, actually. So you blow into that, and then you press the keys on there, and it makes some noise. Looks as though that doesn't stay on there very well, though. So you're definitely going to lose that. So that comes apart. That's the first thing. And then the next thing is the keys also come out as well. All right, so if you take this out of here, I love engineering like this. The keys are two separate puzzle pieces together. I'm assuming the other piano was as well. All of these intricately lock into its spot in order to have a three-dimensional keypad made of eraser. They did not have to go through that much effort, but they did, and it's really neat. Let's go ahead and pop that back in there. And the last one we have right here is a flute, which I'm not very happy about its design. As you see right here, these things are very weak. Um, I've never really given a bad review for an eraser before, but it's really flimsy if you look at that. That is going to get lost very fast, but it's still cool that it all comes apart and whatnot. Not my favorite, but still a neat idea. Move that out of the way. And then this is going to be the last one that we do. Because I noticed that the other one I have in here, I already had reviewed that pack before. I must have double bought it. And I think I reviewed some of different ones of these. But I think that these might be slightly different. Let's go ahead and set these down. So right here, it looks as though we have a coffee cake. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that as far as we can. Look at the details in the breading. Now, I believe I did a strawberry ones of these before. So the center right here, this kind of coffee looking thing, it actually pushes out. See if I put pressure right there. It actually comes apart. Very nice, very cute. And then right here, we have a biscuit but more of an ice cream sandwich looking thing to me. What do you guys think? Kind of reminds me of an ice cream sandwich. And obviously this one's just going to be a three layer one. So if we pull it apart, we see that uh, this one's kind of the uh, Lego piece and this one kind of goes in and locks in there. Pretty cool biscuit. And then this thing, I reviewed one of these before. I think it was a different color, but I can't really remember the name of it. And then uh, it comes apart, I believe, in a bunch of different ways. So this part comes off, 
the cream comes off and then the back is just a solid piece but this is what that looks like pretty neat but yeah i think these uh erasers are going to be kind of a staple for my channel and uh yeah i really enjoyed unpackaging them for you guys and i hope that you guys enjoyed uh checking them out with me but yeah a huge shout out to my patreons thank you guys so much for your support you guys are awesome if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe feel free to check out my patreon i have a list of multiple different tiers ranging from a dollar up to even 500 dollars if you wanted to go extravagant <laughs> but all that goes to buying more products for the channel and my patreon money this time went for upgrading the setup but yeah and i'll see you in the next video